Okay, we get our money from the banks and um, extremely high value um, investors and stuff like that. So don't worry about where I get my money from. It's not necessarily from creations and inventions and projects that I'm on right now. It's through outsourcing. But um, say you wanted to be a part of my millionaire program. So you want to be a millionaire, for instance, right? And you don't believe um, that I'll do it for one year salary. So, okay, since... You don't have confidence in doing it for one year salary. Well, let's break it down like this list right in front of you. There's a bunch of different breaks down, breakdowns of how you can become a millionaire, right? What happens if I just paid you this amount and it was cool? So, for instance, for so $200 to 5,000 people. So what if you literally just pick, you know, you did your one, this is all for the one year's salary, but either way, the end goal is $1 million. So you give me your one year's salary, say you make $50,000, right? Your first week that you're getting a check or your first month. I mean, I have to figure out exactly how it's going to go down, whether it's weekly or monthly. But your first check is going to be $5,000. Yeah. You see how fast you're going to get your money back? So that's 10 years and you'll have all your money back. There's no interest. There's no up or down. In this. It's, it is what it is. There's no regulation because that is something that we have um, found a loophole to. There's no such thing as taxes in my um, corporation because the countries that we are currently residing in, um, we fund the governments. We have no taxation whatsoever and we just utilize our products and assets on the value of their currency rather than um, your American currency, your American currency was bound to collapse anyways. So, but, so, you know, you got options. Um, $17 a month for 12 months, right? So I just do that. So I'll just do 17 times 12. I'll do 17 times 12 for 5,000 people. So I'll do 17 times 12 and that's how much you'll get. And I'll give you that 5,000 times. Because you got to think, the million dollars that these people are tending to reach, they expect it to last them forever. So their last breath, this is going to be it. So when you put it in perspective like this, you know, do you really want only 5,000 payments, payouts? Or do you really only want 200 payouts? Or do you see what I'm saying? You might want to think a little more clearly about, mm, is that million dollars enough? I don't know. Or how can you personally receive just enough that you need that you can make that money last a long, long time? Or would you rather get it in a certain way and have it reinvested properly so the money that you are going to be receiving at a particular time is even higher than the value that you anticipated? There's a lot of questions and a lot of unknowns. Don't be frustrated. There was a lot of unknowns when I started this. There's a lot of things that I know that you're not going to be able to find out unless you do the things that I've done. And that's going to take you two to five to ten to twenty years at least just to know everything that I know. You're not, not saying I'm the best at this or that. But I'm saying that the way that, you know, my brain has picked up information throughout the years... My brain is constructed of data that's um, more monetizable in larger um, denominations than most people. Like the things that I can do on a daily basis could yield more money than some will make in two years. You know what I mean? And it's not hating. It's literal, you know, just psychology, science, and application. It really is. But like I said, there's just different ways that you can do this. Like, you know, the first offer I initially had was, so if you made 50 grand, you give me 50 grand, um, 
in one year I'll start making payments. We'll, we'll do that fifty thousand or you know that million dollars will divide it by fifty two weeks and start getting your first check. People thought that was just crazy, it was never gonna happen. Whatever. I'm not really worried about this money for this million dollars. Like they think this is a big deal, but it's really, really not. I'm not going to hand people a million dollars at all. But like I'd love for them to just sit back and be like, I don't need no money. I don't want your money. Like, how can you do this from zero dollars and be able to literally do it within a you know a reasonable amount of time, say a decade at the most, and be able to retain that knowledge to not only be able to, you know, educate, but you can scale the same method to any level that you want. That's the thing about money. When you realize that money is essentially infinite. The well, money is an infinite. Currency is infinite. U.S. dollars are finite. There's only so many. But currency as a whole is infinite because products are services, goods, um, things are continually developing and processing and, you know, the moon and stuff like that is all value. We just can't necessarily elaborate the exact price. You know what I mean? Like, so everything is, you know, it's a lot of money, man. It's just down here. So, I hope this may make it easier for some of you. I know it's a hard decision, you know, but like I said, if you want to do this yourself, you know, if you want to start from zero, you want to do this for free, the easy way, that's straight. Get a piece of paper, write zero dollars, write down one million dollars, and literally document how you can get the whole way up the ladder. I mean, it might take you a million tries. But what do you have to lose? Does it really matter if you only make, you know, 20 or 50 or 100 the first week you try? No. Because if you figure out how you can scale from that $1 to another dollar, which is $2, and you can turn the value of one piece of paper or one, you know, distinguished note of currency to increased profit of that same currency you have created a loophole my friend and that is what we are about in this game that I have I would consider mastered is my ability to create loopholes in the economic system and they're scalable so not only can I create loopholes Ways to become substantially rich or Ponzi schemes and stuff like that. But I can teach people how to make them bigger and better and better with ease. Your validity and your confidence is merely based upon actions that you've seen in Clinton, Iowa, or have speculated on Facebook. Or overheard from uninformed sources. Now, if we were at the country club and you were talking to my friends and we were writing down in our notebook a little plan for you, I'm pretty sure you'd be a little more focused. You'd probably straighten out your tie. And I'm guaranteeing that when we asked you what time you'll be there in the morning the next day, you would be there when you were supposed to and why you were supposed to because we were doing something that was only benefiting and making you who you should be. It doesn't matter the price. It doesn't, it doesn't matter if it's 500 grand to teach you how to make a million dollars. You know how to double your money and you can do it again. You just keep on doing it until you find a number that you're comfortable with and then fall back. Or right. teach somebody else to do it and just collect your commission. You know what I mean? Like, that's literally. My business model, 
find a business, learn the business, scale the business, sell it. Sell it, scale it. Multiply, rep replicate, scale it. You know what I mean? So this is that that easy. I mean, I can get all these kids build Shopify stores on the internet and are on uh, these groups on Facebook. They're all Shopify creators, right? I just buy all their Shopify stores and once they get the hang of this stuff and I'll run advertisements on all their stores and boom, I'm killing it. I'm killing it, I'm killing it, I'm killing it. And all I did was, I mean, I took a chance. I, you know, I essentially had a lot of risk and a lot of uh, investing, investing in advertising, but it's simple stuff like that. Like literally that's all it takes because the attention will be drawn already. You know what I mean? And all I'm got to do is put you know, a particular number of um, pieces of data in front of a particular amount of eyes. And that's what this value or this dollar is worth to you now. It's not necessarily worth hopes and dreams and goals and ambitions. The easiest thing that you're going to get out of this is getting people's attention and keeping it focused on you. Once you get their attention, you have the ability talk to them, you have the ability to find out who they are, you have the ability to help their life, sell them cars, you know, you have the ability to do things that are different than you. And once you have the ability to sell once you have the ability to scale, once you have the ability to um be confident in your business model, once you have the ability to become a millionaire, do you know what you're gonna do with your life? Do you realize who you became? Do you realize that 99% of the rest of the country and the rest of the world is making less money than you know? And you could do this in a year, two years, six months, however long it takes you to do it. But you could literally get started right now and you could probably be there before, not this Christmas because it's coming up in a month. But the following Christmas, you could literally show everybody your million dollars for your Christmas present. You could take everybody on that, you know, that destination vacation. You could get everybody them things that they want and them new cars that they deserve. It took you a year to make that money. Spend four hundred grand on your Christmas. You just made, uh, you know, a million dollars in one year. You, you yeah, you spent four hundred grand to ball out and help your family, or whatever. But now your family's gonna want to join the team, and you just made six hundred grand profit off of zero dollars. So then you take that. And once the fam jumps on your team, then you teach all of them how to make six hundred thousand off zero dollars, and boom. And then they're teaching their friends and their family and their cousins and their cities and their states, and, and we're selling retirement plans, we're selling millionaire plans, we're selling uh, life coach um tutor or courses, you know what I mean? Mentorships, all the books, everything. Not about one hustle. It's about. How many hustles and how long can you continue to hustle? Sometimes it takes one hustle that's just solid and will do enough. If you're on Walmart, you got a solid hustle, you got enough product, you probably don't have to invest in a hundred mom and pop shops. If you are, you know, a small scale real estate agent or, you know, you own some rental properties, you're going to have to diversify and do some different stuff because that business model isn't going to be producing enough. There's not enough in there for you to get the million dollars, that big number. So you got to do real estate. You got to do stocks. You got to do this. You got to do that. You know what I mean? So it's not like Walmart. Like, we sell a million products for a million dollars. We got a you know, million dollars cash. You know what I'm saying? You, you're going to have to do, you get 30 grand a year from your real estate venture. You get you know, you say you got a snowmobile business, you get 50 grand from that, you got piece it up and just break it down and you'll get there someday. But the biggest thing that's going to hold you back is somebody saying you can't do it. Someone saying it's impossible. And most importantly for you to say it's impossible, you can do it. If people are telling you, people say no to you, tell them I, I got to say no to you, man. We can't be friends no more. Can't be in each other's life no more. Because you, I'm just saying no to, to my future, my dreams, my goals, my accomplishments, and, you know, my roof over my head, my success. I, I'm saying no to you. Back, back. And leave them alone. They're toxic. They're ruining your relationship. 
as a productive person and influencer in this world. And if you don't have, you know, the perfect path with the perfect image and the right people around you, there ain't no reason to shine. There ain't no reason to stay on top when you get there. Because as soon as you get there, you're going to fall right down. You're going to get caught up by the simplest thing, and it's going to break you. It's not about making a million dollars, motherfuckers. Fuck. If you can make a million dollars, how the hell did you get there? How the hell did you teach somebody else? What took you so long? You could be a man, man. You could be changing people's lives. You could be changing your life. The most important thing is to be healthy. The majority of us don't spend near enough time on our health. The majority of us don't drink near enough water, near enough exercise. If we have excess stress, excess fats, excess pop, excess drugs, excess stress, excess, excess, excess toxins. Those are the things that consume you. Those are the things that will consume your reality and your future. Negatives create negatives. Positives create positives. If you are doing this right, you will be just fine. I'm telling you, your only other obligation is, or your only thing that's going to really slow you down, is that you're going to feel like you're competing. This isn't a race to the end this is just a race that everybody can win, but not everybody has the same opportunity. Some people are born billionaires. Some people are born homeless. That doesn't mean they don't have the same opportunity to reach that level of success at some point in time in their life. My aunt, multimillionaire, same mom, same dad, my uncle. Homeless. Decisions, directions, ambition, determination, focus, and repetition are things that you need to worry about and consider when you are really trying to pinpoint your life and where you want to be at and where you want to go. You see that million dollar mark? Remember it's there. Look at it from time to time. Check out 900, you know, 999 million. Um, you know, go down, you know, like, like I said, you can peep in on it, check in on it, see, um, you know, the, the, the thing that's working for you at 900 grand, you know, pop in and check on that. So then you can slowly piece how you're going to get to that product or that thing that's making you that money at that time. Like I said, go back and forth, back and forth. If you have, you know, the ability to go from Z to A, like I said, you have the option of going through multiple doors at once rather than ABC method with just one door at a time. Now, I know this isn't the answer to where your million dollars is or if you'll ever be a millionaire. But the biggest thing that you could ask yourself when wondering and determining if you can be a millionaire is you ask yourself, can I really be a millionaire? The answer is yes. Everybody can. Do you have what it takes? You have so long to live. You have very few chances to do it. If and when. Do you have what it takes? I will be offering free mentorship courses fitness programs and outreach for several people in my community and all my family. They will email me and the contact information will be in the description below and it'll probably go to five families or five people and I really like them to keep everything under wraps. I don't want want people in their life. I don't want nothing um influencing the drive or anything. Anybody slowing us down. 
So those people will probably remain anonymous, and I'll probably relocate them to somewhere else, if possible, so they can get their education done. And then once they're done, we can put them back in their home. Hopefully there'll be no issues with that. We can get, you know, people living in their homes or house sitters or something. We'll figure something out for them. But that's a lot of it, too. You know, you got to be in that right environment. You got to, you know, put yourself around people who are wiser than you, smarter than you, you know, had more years than you. You know, you just got to put yourself, you know, in environment. You know, you can't be at a bar where everybody's smoking, drinking beer, getting in fights, and think that you're going to um, pass your bar exam. I mean, it's right, you know, right situations, the right settings give you the right state of mind. When you're at your desk and, you, and you're at your house and, you know, you got everything the way that you'd like it to be set up before you're about to get to work or go on your computer, then that's the kind of stuff that you need to do. Get yourself in that zone so you have that time to focus in properly when you do start, you know, trying to accomplish your goals and make these numbers appear from nowhere because that's what they are. They're digital numbers. They're fake. And we are literally just creating a number that feels impossible. Literally, it's just pieces of paper with a number created on it that was created by somebody else. He just made a big, big number and figured out how to print it before we did. So how do we do similar things like that? How do we create a big number? You know, how do we establish multiple numbers? How do we um, change our number? Because if you were, you know, valued, say every American was valued on a numerical scale, uh, you know, with the based on the U.S. dollar, how high would you rank? There's 328 million people in the United States. It was labeled from the richest, you know, or the, the most valuable person having the 328 million and the least valuable person being the number one person. Where do you think you would sit? You know, where would you fit on that platform? Do you think that you're, you know, somewhat of... Uh, Lower income or middle income? Do you think you're approaching middle class? Do you think you're high income? Do you think that you're... What? I mean, I'm going to tell you that most of you are going to be very, very surprised and shocked how big the discrepancy of uh, economic gap there is in America. I mean, it's just highly ridiculous. And it's just sad that it's simply because of um, un undereducated, you know, souls, to be honest. There'd be... I mean, a billion millionaires if everyone was properly educated and everyone was focused on the um, reality that currency is literally created from nothing, which is, is created from something else. You know, just like thought is created from something else, like our actions, when the thought is created from one thing, but the things that we do with our thought, the action is, you know, another application, and that's what it is. It's like everything is, you know, so, it's something that's, a, a completion, or and it's, and it's a process before. So that's what this is all. It's all. I mean, it's a goal. It's a completion. It's a mission. But I mean, there's all these steps before, and you can take, like I said, step by step by step, baby steps, or you can seek out to people who know what they're talking about and skip, you know, um, steps one through fifty or one through one hundred thousand or whatever it may be. You know, I'm not telling you you have to take every one million dash. I'm telling you that if you're not getting to that next dash, this is how you might have to do it. 